Why do students find capacitive reactants confusing? Let's simplify it. All right, so what in the world is capacitive reactants, right? Why? Think of it like this. Imagine trying to push water through a sponge. The sponge resists the flow at first, but eventually the water gets through. Capacitive reactants, or XC, is a bit like that resistance. In simple terms, it's how a capacitor resists the flow of alternating current. The higher the frequency of the current, the less the capacitor resists. It's like the sponge getting squishier as you push water faster through it. So why does this matter? Well, in circuits, capacitors can control how much current flows at different frequencies. That's why your phone charges differently with different charges. Higher frequency current means less resistance and your phone charges quicker. The formula to find the capacitive reactance in a circuit is as follows. Xe equals 1 divided by 2 pi times F by C, whereas F stands for frequency in Hertz, and C means capacitance, which is measured in farads. X stands for reactance, and therefore Xe means capacitive reactance. Capacitive reactance made easy. For longer format example questions and answers you will need for your exams, go to videos in my channel. Cheers. See you on the next one.